Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here. It's nice to be back and to post some stuff. So welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going over something that is completely different from what we've covered in the channel and that is how are chess engines used to cheat and gain the upper hand on online chess. This video is actually inspired by a game that I played a few months back where every single move that I was making just felt like it was leading to disaster. I thought I had some good moves and then boom, bam, I was losing. It was horrible. I got destroyed. Anyways, I went over my analysis section on chess.com and realized that my opponent was actually playing with a 99.9% .9 accuracy. So for me, I was like, either this guy's really good or something's wrong. And nonetheless, within a few minutes later, I get a message from chess.com saying that indeed the person that I was playing was cheating and that that game was actually getting my points or my rated points reimbursed for that game. And it felt great. So, you know, great on for chess.com for actually keeping track and, and keeping a check on those that are cheating. Uh, it felt amazing to know that I did not get cheated on, but I think it is very important that we make a video and go over what exactly are these chess engines or how exactly they are used to, to gain the upper hand, the upper hand in games because they are actually very, very useful. So today I'll be showing you how they're set up, not so that you go out there and use it and say, oh, you know, this is how you cheat and, and, and you know, improve my score, but rather just to get an idea in case you're getting cheated in some games. Um... Uh, and yeah, just sort of go over that and I'll be showing you an actual example of a game that I played using uh, a chess engine. Before we even get started, I, I do want to make a disclaimer about that. Uh, the very first thing is I don't, I don't encourage cheating whatsoever. Again, this is just for you for educational purposes to get an idea of how it is used, how people use it and why it's wrong. Uh, so yeah, don't cheat. Chess is about having fun. It's about learning, making mistakes, applying those mistakes uh, that you've uh, that you've learned from in, in future games, improving your score, and just getting better at chess and having your own journey uh, within the chess world. Uh, again, uh, the second part of this disclaimer is I will not be using my chess.com account. I'll be using the, the analysis section of my chess.com, but not an actual game because obviously I do not want to get banned from chess.com. Um, this again, just educational purposes. So we'll be playing on leeches as a guest against a random person. So if I am playing you um, against you, I am so, so sorry. I did not mean to because we are most likely gonna win just because we have the power of the chess engine on our side. So uh, in order to do this, my camera is actually going to be off because there's two different components to this. I have to have my chessboard, the one that you currently see on the screen right now, which is the analysis section or the chess engine that essentially tells you the right and wrong moves. And then from there, it's the um, the actual chessboard of the game that we will be playing over on, on leeches. So for that matter, I'll be taking off my camera for the rest of the video. If you, in order to set it up, uh, I'll explain a little bit more um, in, the, in the following section, but essentially you're gonna go to analysis. So you go to lessons on chess.com, analysis, and then on the board, you can play your game as is, run the report. And as you go, it will start giving you suggestions of like, you know, you shouldn't have done this. This was a mistake. This was the perfect move. And, and, and you'll see it as we move on onto the tutorial. But yes, just wanted to make that disclaimer. I don't encourage cheating. Please don't cheat. Have fun. And this is just for educational purposes. So let's jump right into the video. And my camera is off. So I'll see you there in a second. All right. Bye. All right. So my screen has changed a little bit from the previous screen. I was earlier on my dashboard for chess.com and now it has changed a little bit and let me explain how exactly it looks. On the left side, we have my chess.com, um, the analysis section. So you would go to the analysis, click that, and then that's essentially your chess engine. Um, as you probably, if you've ever done an analysis of one of your games, it'll sort of tell you what move you should have made next, but you can actually do it simultaneously as you play a game and that's what we'll be doing. Um, in, in, on the right side, you can see another chessboard. That's actually the, the game over on leeches that we'll be, we'll be playing. And essentially, we'll be going move by move. And prior to making a move on my leeches game, the move was going to be made over on the chess.com analysis section or on the, on the, um, on the engine. So I'll, I'll show you exactly how it goes. Before we start, we, we're going to make our first move. And then we have to scroll down, click run uh, report, I believe it is. And that will essentially start the analysis as we go move by move. I do suggest, especially in this way that I'm, that I'm doing it, um, it's not really the fastest. I'm sure there is other ways to, to, to use an engine to cheat. This is sort of the only one that I kind of thought that this might be working for and it really only works for a longer game so if you're used to playing rapid so anything that's like maybe close to uh, 10 minute games per side or or higher than that and this this game will will certainly be, or this strategy will certainly be something that might be used more often um right before we start once again i don't encourage cheating should not be doing this it's for educational purposes only 
Uh, so why don't we get started and I'll show you how this works. So we're going to click um, new opponent and the game is loading. We are playing as white, so I will make my first move and then I will click run report. Then I make their move. My simple move, sorry that I'm moving this so much. It just it has to be for it to work. I will move here to there. Some of them might catch on that you're cheating or something, but it's okay. I'm trying to do as much as I can here. He makes his move all the way over here. I'm gonna do, I don't know, I'll say I move the queen and then it's gonna show me right here that I should have taken. So the first thing I do is, okay, I'll take up here, move back, take with this one, and then the game continues. And this is how we're gonna do it. So let's keep playing this game and see where exactly this person goes with it. They have moved their queen. And here I gonna do is, I don't know, let's say I do that. What exactly does that do? What, oh, it says that I should have moved back. I'm moving back. And then there, he takes, I think the best thing is to take. I'm waiting on it. Yes, the best thing here is to take. And that is the move. Um, he takes up here. I don't exactly know. Let's see. Maybe threaten there. That might work. That was a horrible move, apparently. So we move here. I move back. He goes there. And I think even the time might make it seem a little realistic, like I am thinking. I'm not moving completely fast. Um... But yeah, we are actually down on time. You might notice that sometimes you are gonna be down on 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 time, but um, but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of how it is sometimes here and there. Um, yeah, let's say I move the queen over to there. I don't know. You can even think it through as you as you play. It says that I should have castled, so we're gonna reset, move back, and I castled as well. Oh, as you can see, I. To currently have the advantage and we're playing he moves up this one I am going to play uh, let's go with that let's see is that the correct move is that the correct move no apparently I should have attacked so here we go he protects oh apparently he should have moved back this is very interesting I want to see if I can attack right away is that the right move Apparently not. Apparently it was to move over my rook. So we return and we move over the rook. I am plus uh, 2.61. I have the advantage. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, and this is exactly how things go. Um, it's exciting, I guess, when you have two games running at the same time. But again, we are cheating and it kind of it kind of sucks. It kind of does suck. Um... I don't know, is that the right move? Was that the right move? Apparently not. Apparently I have to move up. That was a mistake. He moves the queen over. He is ready to attack. He is getting ready to attack. I I don't know. Is that the right move? Ooh, that is the perfect move then. Let's get it. He moves up. And what exactly do I do here? Uh, I think I take. I think I do take. Yes. Because now my knight is protecting. Oh my goodness. Obviously I take with my knight. And is this it? Is this where he forfeits? Is this, is this it? He's still in the game. It says that the person's still there, and they're just thinking. They make the move over here. Um, uh, I think that is the best move, right? Correct. Yes. We take with the king. Probably take here, and obviously take with the queen. He takes over. I probably take. I believe that's that. And yep. Whew. Okay, on here, could I go there? Is that something to do? No. 
I don't exactly know what to do. Uh, let's just say that I go, let's say I go here. I don't know, was that, is that the correct move? Our panel needs to go all the way over here. So we're gonna return that and there. Person's thinking, where exactly are we going with this? I think, so they bring out their knight. I can probably, I don't know, is this uh, something to maybe protect here? I don't know, is that is that what we're supposed to do? Oh, we're supposed to take the knight. Okay, so we take the knight. He checks us. And what exactly do we do here? Uh, I'll say we move back in. Apparently we move out. Okay. So we'll do that. We're playing the engines game here. We are playing the engines game. He takes over here. I don't exactly know where. Do I check? Is a check what's going to happen here? Yes, it is. I do check. I do check. He moves up towards my, my knight. I don't know exactly what the next move here is. Is it to, am I protecting my knight? Am I, what am I doing here? Let's say I do that. Ooh, it, that was the right move. Look at us, look at us. So let's say we take here. We are down like two minutes on this game, so it's not the best. Oh, he makes the move over here. I can't move that, interesting. I think the best move is to take. Was that the best move? Apparently not. Apparently it's to move over my king. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And there it is. He takes over. Is there a way to... Hmm... Is it now? Oh, wait, no, I, I should have taken. There's that. Oh, so glad I have this engine, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, we are down quite some time. And he has left the game. He has left the game. That is it. And as you can see, we, uh, we have won. And this is why the engine is quite unfair and why it shouldn't be used. We played a perfect game of 100. We claim victory and we have won. I really, really hope you all enjoyed this. This is how some chess engines work and how people use them to cheat. Uh, please don't do it. It is not great. Um, you know, yeah, keep playing. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational for, for all of you. And I guess I will see you all on the next video. See you all next time.